What if I told you the next world war won't start with a bang? But with a ping? A flicker on a radar screen, a drone blinking awake, a line of rogue code spiraling through the cloud. This isn't science fiction. Right now, at this very moment, artificial intelligence is being trained for war. Not to predict it, not to prevent it, but to fight it. It is widely believed that whenever World War III happens, it will cause massive destruction due to deadly weapon we poses. And as Albert Einstein has said, I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. In this video, we'll take you deep into the AI arms race how governments are building smarter weapons, and how it will change power balance in the world. We also have a surprise for our subscribers in the video ahead. Stay tuned, so you are always informed. Let's be clear, we are already in the early stages of a global AI arms race. But this isn't just a race for faster jets or more nuclear bombs, it's a race for cognitive dominance. Whoever masters AI first warfare will control the future of conflict and possibly global power itself. The United States made its intentions clear in 2018 with the launch of the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center, or JAIC. It is a Pentagon-led initiative to integrate AI across all military operations. Since its inception, JAIC has coordinated more than 685 AI projects, many with direct combat implications. Then, there's Project Maven, a controversial AI program used to analyze drone surveillance footage. It can scan and classify millions of hours of video in minutes. Over 1,000 intelligence analysts now rely on it. The goal is to find enemy movements and launch strikes before the enemy even knows it's been spotted. The U.S. fiscal year 2024 defense budget earmarks $17.2 billion, specifically for AI and autonomous systems. But America's not alone. China's ambitions may be even more aggressive. In 2017, Beijing announced the Next Generation AI Development Plan, openly declaring its goal to become the world leader in AI by 2030. Since then, it has poured billions into military civil fusion. Their vision is to develop intelligentized warfare, where AI drives every decision, every drone, every strike. By 2025, China's AI military budget is expected to top $15 billion annually. With hundreds of research centers focused on hypersonics, space warfare, autonomous vehicles, and even quantum AI radar systems capable of tracking stealth aircraft in real time. Russia takes a different path, less reliant on large-scale infrastructure, but masterful in asymmetric warfare. With state-sponsored cyber units like Fancy Bear and Cozy Bear, and cutting-edge drone development like the Okhotnik B Stealth UCAV, Russia excels in targeted AI-driven disruption. During a televised lesson in September 2017, Putin declared, <laughs> по степени важности для страны, для любой страны, не менее, не менее значимо, чем в свое время атомный или ракетный проект Советского Союза. Today, over 30 countries are developing lethal autonomous weapon systems. More than $9.3 billion was spent globally on military AI in 2024 alone, and that figure is growing by 12% per year. This isn't just an arms race, it's an algorithmic sprint to global dominance. It should have given you a clear idea of what would happen if humans enraged World War III. Yes, you are right, a massive population wipeout, but can AI outsmart a general? Imagine you're a battlefield commander. You're facing 3,000 enemy troops, drones incoming, artillery locked on your flank. You have 60 seconds to respond. What if an AI could calculate your best move in just two or three seconds? It is true. At the heart of military, AI is the ability to compress decision-making time something known as the OODA loop. Observe, orient, decide, act. 
With AI, this loop is no longer controlled by human instinct. It's accelerated by algorithms that analyze thousands of variables, weather, terrain, enemy movement, supply lines, all at once. But the US isn't alone here as well. In 2023, China's super brain AI tested over 50,000 war game scenarios, dynamically adjusting unit commands in real time, and learning from each iteration faster than any human could. So let's ask, even if AI can outthink generals, should it be allowed to? Let us know what you think in the comments. Is AI in a battlefield savior or a ticking time bomb? AI will lead another front as well, with no guns, no tanks, no explosions, just silence, and then total system failure. Welcome to Cyber War, where AI is both the hacker and the defense. Worldwide cybercrime costs are estimated to hit $10.5 trillion annually by 2025. AI-enhanced malware now adapts in real time, using self-mutating code to evade antivirus systems. These smart viruses can scan an entire network for vulnerabilities faster than any human hacker. Reports confirm AI malware can scan millions of sites quickly. Some sources say up to 1 million phishing websites per minute. Advanced Persistent Threats APTs, from China's APT-31 and Russia's Cozy Bear now use use machine learning to prioritize which targets to hit, whether that's a power plant, air traffic control system, or military comms network, and it doesn't stop at infrastructure. AI's manipulation of information is just as dangerous. Remember that deep fake of Ukraine's President Zelensky urging troops to surrender? A 2024 Stanford study found that AI-generated propaganda is perceived as more credible than human-made disinformation. Think about that next time you scroll past news on your feed. You need to learn how to survive this AI storm. Here comes the surprise I promised in the start. We are offering our subscribers tools and tricks to educate and train you about AI and its future. So you're never behind. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get our free Prompt Like a Pro ebook and future bonuses. So this is just a short video to go and show you guys what a person looks like under thermal imagery from a drone. All right, this is like a quadcopter drone. And the bright white dude running around is me. I was training the guys, uh, my drone class, on how to go and track targets with thermal imaging through a forest. And as you can see, when I hide underneath a bush and I stay still, it's very difficult to distinguish if that's a person or what it is. Even the tire that's on the ground was taking up the heat from the sun, and that was super bright, and that's what he was looking at at the start. So just an interesting piece of, uh, of knowledge there. Thermal imagery, as long as you stay still and you're underneath a bush, like at the base of it, like a thick bush, you should be okay. At least better than running around like a chimpanzee. Uh, yeah, that's about it. You just saw a drone flying over a battlefield. It locks on a human heat signature. Fires. Kills. No human authorized it. No one can stop it. This isn't fiction. It's already happened. These are autonomous weapons. Machines that kill. These systems don't need a human in the loop. They are the loop. In 2020, a Turkish Cargo 2 drone in Libya reportedly carried out a lethal attack on a fleeing soldier with zero human command. That might be the world's first AI-initiated kill. Israel's Harpy drones already autonomously destroy radar installations. Russia's Lancet drones, now a staple in Ukraine, operate semi-autonomously, tracking targets with AI before making strike decisions. The US, meanwhile, is testing Skyborg, a fully autonomous fighter drone that learns from every flight. Over 300 hours logged so far. Over 60 countries are developing some form of autonomous weapon, yet only a handful have any legal framework to regulate their use. Efforts at the UN to ban killer robots have stalled thanks to resistance from the US, Russia, and China. The New World Order will be powered by AI as alliances are also shifting. The next superpower might not be the country with the biggest army but the one with the smartest algorithm and deadliest weapons. In the West, NATO has launched DIANA, a defense accelerator investing in AI-powered readiness. The AI Partnership for Defense now includes 25 member nations working together to standardize ethical use of AI across militaries. Europe's 1.5 billion euros per year defense AI budget is aimed at securing its own AI infrastructure without relying on the US, or China. But China? It's playing the long game. Through the digital Silk Road, 
it's exporting AI surveillance tech to over 60 countries, many in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Strategic allies like Iran and Pakistan are already integrating Chinese facial recognition into their domestic security systems. Advocacy groups like the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots have rallied 180-plus NGOs to push for regulation. 75% of UN nations support banning fully autonomous weapons. But the world's biggest powers? They're pushing full throttle into AI militarization. The future is not set, but it is being coded right now. This is your chance to stay ahead. Grab the ebook, join the list, and be first in line when new tools drop. Let us know you're in the comments. Like if you made it this far. Share this if you think the world needs to wake up.